One of my favorite movies of 2021 is for sure Ghostbusters Afterlife. It succeeded in breathing new life into the Ghostbusters franchise, that's for sure. And as you can see, audiences seem to enjoy the movie. 95% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. But of course, critics didn't like it. We all know why the critics didn't like it. That's because they wanted this movie to be successful. Ghostbusters 2016, which is 49% audience score versus a 74% fresh <laughs> from, from Rotten Tomatoes critics. This movie's awful. Awful movie. was complete trash. Nobody liked it. Okay? And it's funny. Like, the reason that this movie is doing poorly with the critics is because Ghostbusters 2016 failed. There's literally articles out there saying that they wish this didn't exist because it it bends the knee to the man babies. That's that's one of the critiques of this movie. And of course the nostalgia is bad. They they say that that's a bad thing because it it gives in to man babies and so on and so on. But of course, a lot of the same critics also praised Spider-Man for the nostalgia. So it's just a funny double standard, in my opinion. Now, why am I even talking about this? Well, the reason I'm talking about this is because there is a Blu-ray collection, 4K and a regular Blu-ray set. You know, so you have two options. Uh, it's, and it's called... The Ultimate Ghostbusters set. Let me see. Yeah, the Ghostbusters Ultimate Collection gift set. <laughs> and it only has Ghostbusters 1, Ghostbusters 2, and Ghostbusters Afterlife. It does not have the 2016 Ghostbusters. So it really is the Ultimate Collection. <laughs> now, the funny thing about this is it trended on social media, the fact that 2016 Ghostbusters is not in this box set. That's even more hilarious. And let me tell you why. It trended on social media by a bunch of people who were never going to buy this box set. They never would have bought this box set, ever. They wouldn't have spent a dime on it. Most of them probably don't even buy physical media. And I know that because most people don't buy physical media at all anymore anyway. It's, it's not the popular hobby that it used to be to collect movies. So a lot of these people probably were never going to buy it. I already own the first two in 4K. I'm not even going to buy it. I'm just going to get Ghostbusters Afterlife. But if you don't own any of them, Right, if you don't own one and two in 4K, uh, this isn't a bad box set to pick up because you get all three. So I just find this funny, and I, I love that it's the ultimate collection, <laughs> not just Ghostbusters trilogy or something. The fact that they call it the ultimate collection is what makes this so juicy. So naturally, Paul Paul uh, Fig comes out and he's a little upset as he gets when. People don't address his movie as a masterpiece, probably because the movie's a piece of shit, to be honest. It's a terrible fart joke movie uh, that has nothing in common with the original Ghostbusters movie. And he gets a little upset about that. So he says, um, at Sony Pictures, I know this must be a mistake. We do have a lot of fans, and Bill, Dan, and Ernie, we're in it. And it won the Kids' Choice Award for Best Feature Film the year it came out. So I guess this was just an oversight? Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. And what makes it even better is Sony never responded to his tweet. Sony did not immediately respond to the request for comment. Additionally, the company's Twitter account did not reply to the Bridesmaids director's tweet. The 2016 Ghostbusters film, which holds a 74% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes, was the target of misogynistic trolling on social media at the time. The studio hoped the comedy would launch a Ghostbusters film universe, but this never came to life after the project lost money. And then they quote Dan Aykroyd here. 
talking about how he spent too much money and the studio lost faith in him. So that's the end. I just find it funny. This guy is so salty about this movie. The movie sucked, man. It wasn't well received. I get it. You thought you thought it was great. The rest of the fans didn't. And I'm sure for some reason, <laughs> there are some people out there that like it. There's not enough to justify putting it in this collection and raising the price. And that's ultimately what would happen. If you were to put this movie in that ultimate collection, it would raise the price. And a lot of people, including myself, if I were going to buy it, would be scratching their heads and saying, why am I paying more for a box set that has three out of four movies I want? I don't want this movie. So to save on cost, they're cutting the movie because they know <laughs> people don't want it. A lot of people want the, ma- the trilogy that matters. And that's Ghostbusters 1, Ghostbusters 2, and Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> Not 2016 poop boot. I don't even want to call it a reboot because it's poop. So anyway, that's pretty much it. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Why won't they just leave it alone? They just, they just cannot take the L on this movie. And I find it rather funny and humorous. What are your thoughts? Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.